hello everyone welcome to our channel so today we are here with one more interview experience if you want to know like what is the interview process at vertuza or if you want to know like what kind of interview questions that are being asked at vertuza or you want to know like what kind of uh, topics you want to brush up to take an interview with vertuza then this video is for you so firstly like coming to the interview process there were four rounds for me like uh, first two rounds were from uh, vertuza and the last two rounds were from the client which was jpmc so all the uh, all the meetings have like the meetings that have like sorry the, the interviews that have happened through from the technical panel of vertuza was using microsoft teams and from the jpmc it was through zoom and uh, here the questions were uh, to be honest like uh, this was for a six years experience guy and they were even asking me some puzzles as well uh, which was uh, really i didn't expected that puzzles questions will be asked here so brush up on that thing as well so like coming to the role it was java developer they said back end developer not a full stack then location was hyderabad and experience was six plus interview type was completely virtual as i said like zoom and uh, uh, google meets we have used all the inter all the interview four interview rounds happened on the weekday and uh, like naukri through naukri i got a call from one of the recruiting agency and then my cv got processed here coming to the, like this is the interview invite you can see like on march 22nd of 2021 uh, i have attended this interview i have hidden few information so that uh, i want to don't uh, disclose my identity here so coming to the skill set it was like core java java 8 j2w soap rest spring boot microservices mq kafka cloud no sql db and db2 location was like for both the location this was open like bangalore and hyderabad and like as i have already said the interview process l1 l2 l3 l4 there were four rounds two were from the what was the two were from the jpmc so coming to the first question it was about roles and responsibilities like in all the four rounds i have encountered this question this was very common question across all the four rounds like explain me about like to basically to start the conversation so they were expecting me to tell about my technical stacks and uh, different projects where i have worked and what i am doing in my day to day life currently so, next question was how to stop a bean getting initialized in spring so basically there is one annotation called the red conditional so using that thing we can achieve this so in that thing we can configure a bean differently like if at all a bean is already existing uh we should not uh, initialize this bin if at all there is a dependent bin first that should be initialized only after that this bin should be initialized like that like if at all in the uh, testing time you don't want some bins so those bins you can stop getting initialized so that can be handled here so uh, deep discussion was on that so remember it the red conditional bin if you are not aware of it you can go through it there are uh, uh, like many scenarios where in which we can use that bin now uh, sorry we can use that annotation and next question was like, if we increase thread counts will the performance increase so basically while i was explaining about the parallel streams uh, this question came up so the interviewer was asking me this uh, question like if i am increasing the co thread count to 100 will the process uh, process of uh, process will, will the process performance increase so basically it doesn't depend upon the thread count completely yes uh, up to a certain level it might increase but uh, it basically depends on upon the cpu like cores so if you have an idea uh, uh, you can answer this uh, it doesn't completely depend upon the thread count so i even i have answered the same next question was on like a uh, bean creation like parent child bean uh, different scopes of bean so if at all a parent child parent is having singleton as a scope and child is having a prototype and whenever i am getting a parent bean like how many child instances will get created or what will be the scope of the child and vice versa like parent is having prototype child is having singleton uh, it is a valid scenario or how how many threads gets created there and if there is a class a and i am creating a singleton bean i am defining a singleton bean again with the different name i am defining a, defining the same bean with the same scope singleton how many instances will be there like, or how many beans will get created like such kind of stuff was asked in deep level then there was one question like i couldn't answer to be honest what is by function in java 8 so i thought firstly he was asking me about a functional interface but uh, that was not the case uh, i to be honest I, even i was not aware of it and i said uh, i'm not aware of it, what is by function so if you know it you can comment it next question how to debug the stream 
is it possible actually so basically streams are stateless so it is a bit uh, uh, like not that easy to uh, debug the streams but there are uh, different uh, ways we can debug so even like interviewer only told me the answer here like what all the different ways we can do to debug the stream explain about comparator changing so basically these all questions came up uh, while i was explaining java 8 features so comparator chaining where we have multiple comparators uh, chained together and how we are using so basically i was asked to share my screen and write the code uh, and we can do this if you are not aware of it uh, brush up uh, this is a very good concept in java 8 explain about the design principle so uh, to be honest at first it didn't strike my mind what is design principles so then later on i got it uh, like uh, these are solid principles so explain all the solid principles to him so please brush up uh, about the solid principles no matter how what is your experience you should always know about the solid principles then there was a like explain a scenario like question was like uh, explain a real time scenario where you have used liskov's uh, principle in your application so to be honest like all the applications will follow the solid principles uh, so just you need to remember like just you need to pay a bit attention like which principle you are uh, having like where you are using uh, so i have explained where we exactly we have used this let's go principle next was create a singleton class like i was right asked to write a code and uh, he was asking me like uh, can we break the singleton thing of the class and uh, how can you stop that so basically we can uh, break the singleton behavior by using reflection api and by cloning the object so both can be stopped one using implementing the clonable interface and uh, clo in the clone method we have to override and throw the exception other is uh, checking if in the constructor uh, we have to check whether the reference is null not null if it is not null then we have to throw the exception so these two ways we can do then there was a coding question like like the input is 1122 1123344488 by iterating only once find the non duplicate numbers so by iterating only one time through the loop i have to find out like this is a sorted array and uh, i have to find out like what is the non duplicate thing like i have for this thing i have given three solutions like he was not happy with the first two solutions then later on like i was using two for loops they were not happy uh, then they also uh change the question that only one iterator should be used the so using one iterator i have given the solution here then there was a string like a b b c c so i have to count the characters here this was a simple question like uh, by iterating it i was finding using hash map i did this then there was this question like there are three fives five threes and no matter what i apply like plus minus square cube anything i can apply on that and the end result should be 31 so it actually took some time like good time for me because i was not ready for this kind of question but they have asked me and i have to give the solution i have give you can directly type it in the google maybe the interviewer was also directly getting the question from the google then there was of uh, this question like there is a matrix so if i want to find out number 19 how like what is the way to find out the quickest way to find out so firstly i said like uh, i'll firstly check the first element one uh, one is not less than 19 then i'll go to 10 10 is not less than 19 17 is not less, then i'll go to 25 if 25 like 19 is less than 25 i'll go back and iterate that uh, row uh, i was not happy with that then the final solution that i gave was like uh, i'll coming i'll be checking the last element in the row like 9 13 21 and 29 with this what will happen when 21 is there and it is uh, 21 is greater than 19 so i'll come to know that in that um, uh, row i have the uh, desired output so i'll start iterating, iterating from the back set and i'll get that and if at all uh, in that row uh, i am having 100 elements then uh, uh, then then how we uh, then how i'll do that then i said like i'll take the middle number as this is a sorted one i'll take the middle number and again i'll check whether this is uh, uh present or not like in the first half first half or in the second of the element is present then i'll go to the if at all it is present in second half i'll go to second half again i'll check with the middle number so that was how i have given the solution and that was good only then what is the importance of it that it repository 
so basically at the rate repository service at the rate component are almost same but our repository helps us in converting the checked exceptions of spring best way to read an excel with 1 million records and insert into db like how what is the best approach i will follow so they were basically looking for the approach what i follow here and i gave the approach like using batches batch process i will do this i will be committing like 10 10000 records like I have given multiple solutions for this and there was one more question like there are three jars of size 8 liters 5 liters and 3 liters and at the end I they want 4 liters like 8 liters is filled with 8 liters of water and I want they want 4 uh, they want 4 liters out of that 8 liters so I could not uh, completely give this answer I gave many approaches but nothing worked to be honest then there was a question like how do you iterate a list of list of string so in java it is very easy if we are using flat map uh, we can do this and, uh, and flat map is basically used in this type of scenarios so he was just checking me whether i know the usage of flat map or not here then there was questions about functional interface like why functional interface what is the advantage of functional interface what is the relationship between functional interface and lambda expressions and uh, like this were this were type of the questions so this was about the interview questions that were asked to me and coming to the feedback it was a very good uh, interview overall interview process like everything was online so no need to travel anywhere and everyone everyone was on time and it, uh, to be honest uh, they were helping me out at, at places where i was not getting the exact answers so fine like the conducted month was march as, uh, as i already shared so this was about the interview so if you have liked it please do subscribe like share and comment the comment and provide us the feedback and at the last i would like to tell who are we and what we do so we are basically bunch of software engineers who are attending the interviews and sharing our real time interview experiences through these videos and you can visit our channel and find more such interesting videos that we have already shared if you haven't subscribed us you do subscribe uh, as there are many interviews that are uh, we are that are already in the queue and even we have our subscribers are now actively sharing their interview experiences so these are the list of uh, company interviews that we have already shared actually there are more uh, as there is no space we couldn't accumulate all those things and thank you thank you for watching that's it for now hello everyone i hope everyone is doing great as there are news of second wave of covid please be cautious and take all necessary precautions and this is not any regular video and that we post on our channel this is a bit different uh, and like it's like recently we have applied for amazon affiliation and luckily uh, our request was uh, like we got an approval for that so what is based uh, Amazon affiliation is like uh, whenever uh, you buy something on Amazon using our links, like we might get uh, 1% or 0.5% of the total amount. Order. And how it is done, I'll show you. So go to our channel, any video, open. In the description link, currently we have given uh, an interview book. So which contains all the Java books, uh, all the Java interview questions. So click on this link, Amazon link. So once you click on this, uh, it will navigate to the app or website. So this will be valid for 24 hours. And next 24 hours, if you're shopping anything on Amazon, and if that qualifies for commission or Amazon affiliation, uh, Amazon affiliation, and we might get like 1% or 0.5% of the amount. So suppose if you're buying something of 100 rupees, we might get 1 rupee. And if you uh, think this channel is helping you, so we request, uh, you can also help us back in this way. And like to be honest, like you will not get any special discounts, but only thing is uh, we might get uh, some commission out of the amount you are spending on Amazon. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.